So my breakaway this conference was worship beyond reasonable doubt. Why do we do what we do in worship, and how do we know it works? And basically, I honed in on the fact that worship is divine service, what God does for us, not what we're doing for God. And so it works because it's God's work, it's not ours. And our work in worship is to simply receive his gifts. And that's what pleases God the most, is when we receive his gifts. Now, that sounds funny. Because usually you think about serving God, it's what we do for God. It's our good works, it's, it's service, it's, it's our activity. And to say the best thing you can do for God is to receive his work, his gifts, sounds wrong. So I tell a story to kind of make this point that helps people understand that. And that is, if you're married and your husband wants to buy the wife just the perfect gift and he spends lots of time and he finally finds the perfect gift and he knows she's going to be so happy so ecstatic and he wraps it special and he gives it to her and she opens it up and she goes oh that's really nice thank you honey where are we going for dinner tonight and he's crushed because he thought he found the perfect gift and it was not received with joy that he thought it would but now what if he gives her this gift and she flips out and she, she's so happy and it is and it's wonderful and she hugs him and kisses him. He's, he's the best husband in the world. That not only makes her happy, he's happy. He's maybe even happier because she received the gift with joy. So God has given us the greatest gift of all, his son and forgiveness and life and salvation and grace and mercy and everything that he has for us. And he simply says, here, it is perfect. It is for you. I picked it out just for you. It's, it's what you need. And when we receive that with joy, that gives him joy. And that's the best thing we can do. And then the other stuff comes because that his gift works in us. And then we can serve our neighbor because God doesn't need your service, but your neighbor does. And so thinking about worship in that way kind of opens it up. You think about it a little bit differently and you realize, yeah, this is what it's all about. It's God serving us beyond any doubt so that, and, and I had a little boy come up to me afterward and he said, you know, when I get to heaven, and I said, that is the best thing you could say because you didn't say if, you said when, because it's all about certainty beyond reasonable doubt. We belong to him because he gives himself to us.